Introduction to Welded Pipe Manufacturing Steel pipes are long, hollow tubes that are used mainly to convey products from one location to another. They are produced mainly by two distinct manufacturing methods which result in either a welded pipe or a seamless pipe. In both the manufacturing methods, raw steel is first cast into a more workable starting form. It is then made into a pipe by stretching the hot steel billet out into a seamless pipe, or forcing the edges of flat steel strip together and sealing them with a weld. Welded Pipe vs. Seamless Pipe Advantages of Welded Pipe Welded pipes are typically more cost-effective than their seamless equivalents. Welded pipes are usually more readily available than seamless. The longer lead time required for seamless pipes can not only make timing problematic, but it also allows more time for the price of the materials to fluctuate. The wall thickness of welded pipes is generally more consistent than that of seamless pipes. The internal surface of welded tubes can be checked before manufacturing, which isn't possible with seamless. Advantages of Seamless Pipe The main perceived advantage of seamless pipes is that they don't have a weld seam. Traditionally, the seam of welded pipes has been viewed as a weak spot, vulnerable to failure and corrosion. For many years, this fear was probably justified. However, in recent years improvements in the manufacturing process for welded steel pipes and other welded pipes have boosted the strength and performance of the weld seam to levels indistinguishable from that of the rest of the pipe. Seamless pipes provide peace of mind. Although there should be no issues with the seams of welded pipes supplied by reputable manufacturers, seamless pipes prevent any possibility of a weak seam. Seamless pipes have better ovality, or roundness than welded pipes. Electric Resistance Welding ERW Process In electric resistance welding ERW process, the pipe is manufactured by cold forming a flat sheet of steel into a cylindrical shape. Then the current is passed between the two edges of the steel cylinder to heat the steel to a point at which the edges are forced together to form a bond without the use of welding filler material. Several electric resistance welding ERW processes are available for pipe production. The two main types of ER are 1. High frequency welding 2. Rotary contact wheel welding High Frequency Welding Initially, ERW manufacturing process used low-frequency AC current to heat the edges. This low-frequency process was used from the 1920s until 1970. In 1970, the low-frequency process was superseded by a high-frequency process which produced a higher quality weld. Over time, the welds of low-frequency pipe was found to be susceptible to selective seam corrosion hook cracks, and an adequate bonding of the seams. So low frequency air is no longer used to manufacture pipe. The high frequency air process is still being used in pipe manufacturing. There are two types of high frequency air processes. 1. High frequency induction welding. 2. High frequency contact welding. In high-frequency induction welding, the weld current is transmitted to the material through a work coil in front of the weld point. The work coil does not contact the pipe. The electrical current is induced into the pipe material through magnetic fields that surround the pipe. High-frequency induction welding eliminates contact marks and reduces the setup required when changing pipe size. In high-frequency contact welding, the weld current is transmitted to the material through contacts that ride on the strip. The welding power is applied directly to the pipe, which makes this process more electrically efficient than high-frequency induction welding. Because it is more efficient, it is well suited to the large diameter and high wall thickness pipe production. Rotary Contact Wheel Welding 
In rotary contact wheel welding, the electrical current is transmitted through a contact wheel at the weld point. The contact wheel also applies some of the forge pressure necessary for the welding process. The three main types of rotary contact wheel welders are AC, DC, and square wave. In all three power supplies, electrical current is transferred by brush assemblies that engage slip rings attached to a rotating shaft that supports the contact wheels. These contact wheels transfer the current to the strip edges. Rotary contact welding is useful for applications that cannot accommodate an impeder inside the pipe or tube. Examples of this are a small diameter refrigeration grade tube and tube that is painted on the ID immediately after the welding process. Should you choose welded or seamless stainless steel tubing? Stainless steel tubing. When choosing welded or seamless tubing, it should be compliant with your project specifications. If the specs do not require a particular type of tubing, you should consider the conditions in which the tubing will ultimately be used. Another factor to consider is that seamless can be substituted for welded tubing, but welded tubing may not be able to be substituted for seamless due to the weld seam. The manufacturing pipe mill process or high frequency or pipe mill production line generally involves the following stages in a step-by-step -step procedure. Slitting. Uncoiling. Forming. Welding. Debeating. Seam annealing. Sizing. Cutting. Galvanizing. Zinc spray. 1. Slitting. Roll slitting is a shearing operation that cuts a large roll of material into narrower rolls. Coil slit to predetermine widths for each size of pipes. 2. Uncoiling. The slitted coil uncoils at the entry of the tube mill line and the ends shear and weld one after another. Lotos is able to offer the largest range of decoilers from manual to fully automatic, according to a range of strip widths and thicknesses. 3. Accumulator. The main action of the accumulator is to accumulate a steel strip to keep continuously and automatically production in the welding pipeline. The accumulator receives steel strips from the uncoiler and sends them to the forming section for further processing. Each accumulator stores a certain amount of strips and can be designed to fit your existing equipment. The machine's primary purpose is to guarantee uninterrupted production. Cage loop and spiral accumulators are both available depending on your application requirements. Complete entry systems can be customized to accommodate your line needs. Commonly included in our entry systems are our double arm uncoiler, outboard coil retainer, speed funnel, shear welder, and accumulator. Any item may be added or subtracted from this list to better suit your needs. There are two types of accumulator. One. Horizontal Strip Accumulator 2. Spiral Accumulator 4. Forming The sleeted coils are formed into a cylindrical shape with open edges utilizing a series of forming rolls. In a tube mill, the forming machine forms the strip into a round, weldable product. The forming machine has two main parts, breakdown and fin pass sections. Once welded, the tube can be left round, though it undergoes further forming to size it to a more accurate outside diameter. Roll forming the tube is described best as a progressive edge form, high oval without idlers. The strip is formed from the outside using an overformed radius on the first pass of about 15 degrees. The second pass forms the next 15 degrees, allowing the first pass work to relax, and then continuing using this type of forming method, allowing the high oval to stay in the sides. Roll forming supplies pressure in the vertical plane only, and the tooling must be designed with this in mind.
5. Guide and Squeeze and Scraper. One set of guide rolls stands for controlling the direction of pipe seam to ensure pipe seam flatly and straightly entering into extruding rollers. Set of extruding roll stand for controlling weld seam to realize successful welding. Two sets of scraper frame for scraping outside weld seam. 6. Welding. In this stage, the open edges heat the forging temperature through high frequency, low voltage, high current and press welded by forge rolls making perfect and strong. Seven. Sizing. After water quenching, a little decrease applies to pipes with sizing rolls. This results in producing the desirable precise outside diameter. The sizing section of most tube and pipe mills is normally the last section the tube pipe will interface with before exiting to the cutoff and packaging equipment. Sizing plays a very important part in the final end product, as it not only does as the name implies, sizes or reshapes squares, rectangles, ovals, and etc. the tube pipe. But it also stress relieves it at the same time so that the properties are normalized within the body of the material. However, the only way this double process can perform or be held under control is by proper setup of the sizing section, per the design of the tooling. It is imperative that the sizing section is set up so the tooling can evenly and equally finish size straight in the tube pipe. Failure to do so will result in secondary fabrication and straightness issues. Eight, zinc spraying, repairing the welding seam zinc surface. The tube is produced on a tube forming mill by electrical resistance welding of the longitudinal seam. By using a pre-coated steel strip, a tube with enhanced corrosion resistance can be produced. The pre-coated steel strip is available with a zinc coating, galvanized, aluminum coating, aluminized, or ZNL alloy coating. During the welding process, the heat generated around the weld area and the subsequent tooling operation to remove the weld fin destroys the external coating around the weld area. Unless we protected this area of the tube will corrode. The reprotection of this weld damage is achieved by applying a metal sprayed deposit with a material that offers similar corrosion resistant properties to the strip pre-coat. This in-line method of repair is the only method available which offers the flexibility of producing tubes with zinc, aluminum or ZNL coatings. 9. Cutting. CNC controlled cold cutting saw, by tube mill forming speed near 70 meters per minute we definitely need flying the cutting saw to reach back point on this speed. Lotus firming has two types of cutting saw, one is normal another is a cold cutting unit. Cold cutting unit advantages it makes a finished profile without burr, to has the best accuracy and less cutting noise some industry required cold cutting saw.